Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and in this video tutorial for the LSP Signature Newborn Photoshop Actions, I'm going to show you a particularly tricky skin edit and how you can combat this in Photoshop. This image has been kindly sent in by Annika Harding Photography and perfectly demonstrates um, what we know as baby acne, also known as uh, neonatal cephalic pustulosis. This tends to appear uh, when baby is within one to two weeks old after birth, sometimes even sooner, and can often be very, very um, extreme during the newborn photography session. But of course, this passes. It's a very temporary sting condition as baby adapts to the outside world. It can be quite alarming for parents um, when the baby um, starts to come out in this rash. So you can do, um, you can reassure the parents that you can fix this in Photoshop. Um, and I'm going to show you how. So I'm using the LSP Signature Newborn Photoshop Actions, let's get started. Now the most tempting thing to do uh, when you're overwhelmed with an image like this is to dive straight in and start trying to fix the skin. You don't need to do that. The most important thing to do first is to balance the image and the tones and that's going to make your skin editing a lot easier. So first of all I'm just going to lift and lighten this image a little bit using the instant lights up. Now you can play this once and slide the opacity or you can play it more than once. A black brush is already selected, so I'm just going to use this to paint a little off the baby's skin here. Selecting the white layer masks. This tutorial is assuming you've already watched the, um, the beginner's tutorial, um, the get started with this action set, which explains everything. I'm just going through assuming you've already watched these. If you haven't, you can catch those on the LSP Actions website, www.lsp-actions. Dot com um, and you can go on the video tutorials and you can catch that. This is kind of, I'm, I'm just jumping in assuming that you know how these actions work. I've also just played Magic Baby Balance Space but I'm going to turn that right the way down and again paint a little bit off. Black brush is already selected so it's great I can just paint that off. Now into the lighting brushes I'm going to play the light shadows and balance highlights so that lifts the shadows up and it darkens the highlights down a little bit so if your image um, needs that kind of mellowing out, you can do that and that will really help when it comes to editing the skin. You can already see the image is looking a lot more balanced now. Now into the skin retouch brush section. Um, I'm going to play the paint away shiny areas first. Now this baby doesn't have a lot of reds but if you find your baby has um, a lot of very red patches you can also play the, um, the reduce the reds actions or into the um, the colour section you can play Reduce the Red Strong as well, which will really help, but for this baby it's not needed. Again, I haven't dived in with the skin edit just yet, even though it's so tempting to do so. I've just played the rosy pink cheeks and lips, so I'm just going to make my brush nice and small and dab this over the lips there just to bring some toning back. By doing everything else first before you come in on that skin edit, it really means that when you come to editing the skin, um, it's going to make it so much easier for you. So let's dive into that skin edit. I'm going to play the Newborn Skin Pro Extreme. You have Newborn Skin Pro Gentle Perfection, which is the Goldilocks action. I'd always recommend starting with that one unless you're um, sure that it is an extreme skin edit because that one is normally enough. But if the skin is extreme like this, uh, with the neonatal acne, Newborn Skin Pro Extreme is really going to help you. It does take a little while to play out because um, it's a huge action, it does an awful lot of work behind the scenes. So you can see I'm just brushing this onto the skin and it's helping remove all of those spots and all of the flakes. So when using the skin fix do take care not to go over any detailed areas such as the eyelashes or the lip line uh, because it will also reduce um, any detail there and you don't want to do that. What this action does is it helps you remove any flakes, spots, anything like that right the way down whilst also remaining um, the keeping the skin texture integral and intact. If you do accidentally go over any detail areas you can just switch to a black brush by hitting X on your keyboard and you can use that to paint away um, any of the effect. So. There is before and after using that one action, the LSP is Skin Pro Extreme, and you can see that has taken away 90% of the baby acne um, and keeping the skin integrity intact. So next up, I'm going to play the Calm, Blotchy and Patchy Skin. This is a great one to finish up with once you've done the skin, uh, the main skin retouching. 
Let's soften that brush back down. Calm Blotchy and Patchy will help remove any of those um, blotchy red areas. It will help really, really calm those down and give you an even toning to the skin. Whilst keeping the details intact there. So I'm being quite careful in the hairline because I don't want to soften that hair down too much. So we see there before and after. And that has made a huge, huge difference to the skin. I'm going to play rosy pink cheeks and lips now. And I'm just going to add a little bit of toning into these cheeks. And the lips. Now to the gorgeous detail brushes. I'm going to play sharpen lashes and details. And that's going to bring some sharpness in here. You will see there is the odd tiny little flake remaining. Don't worry about that too much till right at the end and you can use um, Select and Fix or anything else to fix those. The main thing is you are fixing um, the majority of the skin there. You could also use the skin retexturizer if you've had to go in very hard um, and you find the skin is looking a little too soft. You can use this and it will add natural texture back into the skin um, without bringing any of those spots or flakes back. Now into the Divine Foundation, um, I think I'm going to play Chestnut Deep Skin Foundation here for this little one because she does have slightly naturally darker skin. And what this will do, it will really just help add this beautiful toning into the skin. If you find the colour isn't quite right, maybe a little bit dark, you can come up here on the Layers panel, double click the colour box and you can drag this around um, to suit your image. These give you a, a beautiful base that you can use and if you want to change them a little bit, you can do. I'm also going to play Creamy Soft Pale Skin. This is going to give a beautiful fine art finish to the skin there. Um, absolutely gorgeous. So that one is just playing out now. And I'm going to paint this on quite lightly um, because I don't need too strong an effect on this skin. I don't want it to be over smoothed. So I'm just going on really lightly there with this one. We also have sharpened these details back up again to add some sharpness into the skin. And just darken the foundation down just a touch. And you can play with the opacity of any of these. They do not affect your original background layer. So once they've played out, you can play with them. You can reverse engineer. You can do whatever you like. I'm also going to play Purple Skin Lift and Boost because you can see there is a tiny little bit of purples here on these lashes. So I'm just removing that and a little in the hairline. I might also play the, uh, not, not rosy pink cheeks, click the wrong one, Baby Soft Skin, um, just to go over with one last beautiful layer of softness for the skin there. But again, go easy because we don't want baby looking like a porcelain doll. Um, so just keep your brush flow very low. I recommend 25 to 30% and your opacity at 100%. And that is already looking absolutely gorgeous. So let's just see a before and after. I'm going to use the Take a Snapshot and Flatten Action. And in the History panel, you have the original and your snapshot. So that's where we started just a few minutes ago. And that's where we are now using the LSP Signature Newborn Photoshop Actions. just brighten up the face just a tiny bit so I'm going to use the milky bright skin action and just dab this over a little onto the face there and you see there's some little areas here that do need um, fixing some little fraying on the bow a couple of extra flakes which I recommend leaving right until the end of your edit uh, when you're nearly there come down to the manual section play on select and fix create a duplicate fixing layer grab your patch tool uh, to learn how to use Select and Fix properly, you can watch the video tutorial on the LSP Actions website. Simply draw around any areas and play Select and Fix, or if you've got the shortcut installed, when um, the Signature Newborn Actions load up, it will ask you um, whether you want to um, override shortcuts. You just hit no and, and it, um, it will override that for you. So I'm just using the, the, um, the F2 shortcut for Select and Fix, but you can, of course, um, hit the Action too. It just means there's a shortcut assigned. So I'm just going over these areas, hitting F2, and the same goes for any tiny flakes you've got remaining, any little spots, any areas of your image you really would like to balance out. And because you're on patch, you can also just patch out of the way if you wanted to. You 
you can also select a clone stamp and a medium hardness and you can use this to fix areas of your image too. It's entirely up to you the way you would like to um, retouch and fix. So there we have it. Um, I'm also going to just do this little area here. You can use that with the peely wrists and ankles action if you wanted to. And more tutorials are on the website for exactly how to use these actions. So let's see before and after. Again, I'm going to take that snapshot and flatten, go up to history. There we have before and after. And that's using the LSP Signature Newborn Photoshop actions. For such extreme skin, that really isn't a very long edit at all. So if you have a gallery of images like this, you can batch those actions over, have several open at once in Photoshop, use the batch um, here, the batch actions option, play the actions over, just go through and paint nice and quickly, um, and it's gonna save you so much time editing that you'll probably have time for an extra session that week if you want to, because that's what it's about, saving time when editing, so that you've got more time to actually work within your business. And you can watch the other video tutorials over at www.lsp-actions.com. I'm Lauren, thanks for watching.